Stan Jibalisco here. To describe the meaning of the term image signal in a superheterodyne radio receiver. Uh, superheterodyne receivers are pretty much have pretty much been the standard for quite some time, although specialized digital receivers sometimes can exist in other forms. But in the, the conventional superheterodyne receiver, what, the, what you strive to do is to get a constant frequency signal that you can process easily because it never changes in frequency. You never have to change the characteristics of the selective circuits or other characteristics, even though the desired signal may vary considerably in frequency. How do you do that? Well, what you do basically is you have a tunable local oscillator signal that you combine with the desired signal such that the difference between the tunable local oscillator signal and the desired signal is always a certain constant. And in this case, that constant is 9 megahertz. Your desired signal is 21 megahertz. You might recognize that as a 15 meter ham radio signal. Uh, if that signal comes in and the local oscillator is tuned to 12 megahertz, then the difference frequency 21 megahertz minus 12 megahertz will equal 9 megahertz. Now if you wanted to change this to 21.5 megahertz, you would tune your receiver by tuning the local oscillator to 12.5 megahertz. So the difference would still be 9 megahertz. So this is where your tuning control for your receiver is. But unfortunately, if you do not have sufficient selectivity in the front end of the receiver, that is um, all of the stages prior to the difference mixer circuit, you can get reception at 9 megahertz, which is the frequency you want to hear, at frequencies other than that that you want to hear. Suppose, for example, that all of the radio frequency amplifier stages prior to the difference mixer had ex exceedingly poor selectivity or that an exceptionally strong signal came in at a particular frequency that you didn't want to hear. You have a 21 megahertz signal that you're listening to. Your local oscillator is tuned to 12 megahertz. Now, these are assumed to be exact frequencies. 21.000, 12.000, the difference 9.000, and you hear your uh, signal at 21 megahertz. Uh, maybe 21.005 if you're sending CW so you don't inadvertently go outside of the band. Uh, I think I think if if even if you send it two words a minute, if you're right at 21 megahertz, you're going to be having frequency components that go outside the the band. You don't want to do that. Uh, but supposing that you have some rogue signal at 21 megahertz that you're listening to, some rogue radio stations, uh, if they're operating illegally to begin with, they can send anywhere they doggone well please as long as they can get away with it haha -ha. so 21 megahertz intermediate frequency 9 megahertz local oscillator 12 megahertz oh well that's fine now suppose another rogue signal comes in and he's right next door to you so that his signal is overpowering uh, or just down the block uh, so that the signal is so strong that it can get through whatever selectivity may exist prior to the difference mixer. This 3 megahertz signal will mix with the local oscillator signal in a difference mixer to give you a frequency of 12 megahertz minus 3 megahertz or 9 megahertz. So this rogue signal will come on top of this rogue signal and then they will compete with each other and hopefully both get caught and both fall silent after the Federal Communications Commission and their associated justice apparatus 
is finished with them. Then you'll have zero, zero, and it doesn't matter what this is then, does it? <laughs> oh, well, just a little rambling there. On the part of Stan Jubilisco, W1GV Whiskey, one, good vibrations, saying 73, which means best regards, and so long, which of course in CW on any frequency means da 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 da. -da.